what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to create a line style to mark the zoning setback from the property line so as you can see here i have the property line and i also have here the topography okay so let's get started if you remember last time we created a line pattern so let's learn how to create a line style so from the manage tab let's go to the additional settings and there you go. So there's our guy. So we are going to create a line style. So I'm going to select this one. Okay. And then after that, if you're going to expand this, you'll be able to see here all the line style that we have currently in our project. Now, let's say, for example, you want to add. And obviously, you just need to select here the new. Under the modify subcategories, you can see new. Just click that one. And let's say uh, this is our zoning setback okay and then after that just select okay so after that you will not be able to see it here added to your line style so what i'm gonna do is so let's say i'm gonna change the projection line here i want to make that a little thicker so let's say uh, line projection of three i want to change the color so let's say i want to make that uh, red and then for the line pattern i'm gonna change that to uh, double dash 5, 8 of an inch. And there you go. So we just created our line style. So I'm going to select here apply. And then I'm going to select here OK. Right. Now, so for us to be able to use that, we need to create here a line. OK. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the architecture. And then from the model panel, you can see here model line. OK. You actually have two ways of creating lines. So the first one is model line. The other one is from the annotate tab, you have the detail line. So what is the difference between the model line and then the detail line? Well, as you can see, the definition of the detail line, it creates a view specific lines. Detail lines are visible only in the view in which they are drawn. So basically, if you are going to create your detail line in our view currently in the site plan, you will only see that line in your site plan. If you go to the 3D view, you go to the uh, section view, elevation view, you will not be able to see that. Why? Because we only use the detail line for detailing. So it is a view specific lines. This is useful if you want to create some details or uh, create some elements that you would like only to see in the view where you have drawn it. So like, for example, I'm going to select the detail line here and then let us use the line style that we have created. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow and then look for the zoning setback that we created. So I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to make sure that the chain here is checked. Okay, and then I'm just going to specify the offset, meaning the height up the line that I'll be creating from the level from the site. So let's say I'm going to make this uh, four feet. Okay, and then I'm just going to create it. So let's say, for example, something like this. So this is, oh, sorry, the offset, sorry, that will going to be the offset from the point where you have picked. So if you type that four feet, so from this point, it will offset four feet up. Or if you press a space bar, it will offset down, right? Now for this one, I think I don't want to have an offset. So I'll just make the zero. Okay, so let's try this one. So I'm using detail line to create my setback. So let's say it's something like this, right? That's it. And there you go. Okay, and then I go to modify and then if I go to the other view, so let's say I go to the 3D view, I will not be able to see that one, right? Because detail line, you can only see that in the view where you have drawn it, okay? Now, I'm going to delete this one. So I'm just showing you the difference between the model line and then the detail line. Okay, so let us now use our, our model line. So let's click model line here. And then as you can see, another difference between the detail line and then the model line, you can specify here the placement plane for your model line because you can see the model line in other views as well. 
Whereas in detail line, since it's just a 2D drawing, there is no placement plane that is available on the options bar. Okay, so now for the model line, so let's say I want to make that until level 2. So that's the height for my uh, model line. And then again, so we will be using the line style that we have created. And that's it. So I'm going to create one here. Okay, so there you go. I'll click. So let's say this will going to be the setback. Zoning setback. Click. And there you go. And then I'll just select here, modify to terminate. So if I'm going to uh, open, let's say, the level 2, entry level, I will be able to see that, right? If I go to the 3D view, I'll be able to see that. Why? Because that's how the model line works. Okay? But in my case, I seldom use model line, so I'm more on... Uh, using the detail line because most of the time I create, I use the detail line as a reference line. Although you can uh, use your reference plane, but I always, or most of the time, I prefer to use detail line over the model line. Unless I want to create an element, 2D element that I would like to see in other views just like this one. So in that case, I will be using model line. But since I only want to use uh, detailing, so I use a uh, detail line. But for this exercise, I'm just showing you the difference between the model line and then the detail line. And of course, how to create a line style. Okay, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise for the beginners. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.